How you do? <laughs> I used to mess with you and say everything, and I look in your in in, in your bag, and I'd say, Ah, Joe, what's this? Come on, what's this? He says, Why don't you try run all the time? Jump, see if you can touch, even just touch the ring. The good thing about the ring is that you touch the ring, but your wife got the ring. <laughs> oh, she got it. She got it. <laughs> the Seriously, what's the jump? Seriously. Disappear. Bang, gone. Over my career, there's been times where, yeah, I, I, I've, I've thought, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm past it. Here's Millen. Oh, nice ball into the feet of Kataru. Great play by Ram Kataru! It's there! It's a message for everyone that they shouldn't give up. It doesn't matter how they start, it doesn't matter how difficult it's going to be. Ridiculous. <laughs> hey! As you say, how good am I? I'm ridiculous. <laughs>
um, and anyone who comes to the showgrounds and the watches them and I've seen him over the years, he's, he's got some important goals, so yeah, he'll go down in history and for Sligo Rovers. Um, Raf has brought a lot of success to the club, he's brought um, a lot of experience with it too, helping a lot of young players through, like myself, Gary Boyle and Regan Don, and it's been uh, a legend for the club. But he's a fan's favourite, like, and it's... It's it's um it's something that I'm sure he's proud of and something he look back upon when he's when he's older and, and be proud of, you know, and be delighted that he's had such a good career here as well. So But um I just wanna say thank you, Raf, for everything you've done. And um I hope I hope you come to my marriage. <laughs> uh, thank you and we love you, Raf. He's my brother for life. Well wow. Well. Got a little tear in I'm not even joking. <laughs> some nice, some nice words. Some nice words from him alone. From obviously teammates. Did you thought that um, you have that kind of impact on people? Probably not. No. <laughs> Probably not for the simple reason is I'm, I'm quite, quite a shy enough guy. I'll come in go about my routine and to be honest with you sometimes I do think that no one notices what I do or what I don't do or, or that but when you see there some of the, the reactions obviously and some of the questions asked to the, to, to the lads or, or, or how they feel about, about me, uh, <laughs> it's overwhelming to be honest with you, yeah, it, I, I didn't realise I, I had such a, an impact on, 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 on them at all. Yeah. You get along with so many people, and that's why you just get into any generation smoothly because of the way you behave. And that is why I want to know about your career at the start. I was ambitious, definitely ambitious, you know. Obviously, as, as, as a young lad, your, your initial thing is, right, I want to go to England. I want to play with the big clubs in England. I want to be a professional footballer. But if you'd have told me, that I was going to have the career that I've had here in Ireland, in the League of Ireland, I'd have probably laughed at you, to be honest with you. Like I said, I, w I was ambitious and, and, and I, was, I was focused and driven to, to be a professional footballer, whatever level it may be. Um, but I, I was lucky enough to get the chance here. Obviously, the, the first manager that brought me in, Tommy Cassidy, um, he brought myself and, and, and two other local lads in from, from the local uh, Sligo Leitrim under-18 squad. That was kind of the beginning of it, obviously. We, I wasn't expecting to, to play, just maybe feature, maybe once or twice. And I think we were about five games in. Tommy Cassidy said, right, you're going on. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know what to do. Should I warm up now or should I just go straight on? I didn't know what to do. I can, I can remember it. And he goes, right, I'm going to play in you. Yeah, you're going to play in up front. And I'm like looking at it. I think it was, um, I don't know, was it Stephen McGuinness that was playing for Monaghan or, or someone then he was, the fellow was playing for Monaghan, he was nearly the height of the fucking roof. And I'm thinking, oh, here, here we go, here we go. So it puts me on anyways. Um, I've put pressure, I've, within two minutes of going on, they've taken a short free kick. I've pressed the, the central defender. He's knocked the ball back to the, to the keeper. And I'm just running. I'm, I'm going, man. I'm going for it. And the keeper has gone to kick the ball. And, he's, and I've put out my foot. I've blocked the ball down. The ball's gone by the keeper and I'm running in on goal. Bang. 3-1. Thanks for coming. <laughs> so that was my debut. So to be, to be honest, to, to, to probably start off like that yeah. was probably the kickstart of it. And getting a goal and, and I remember coming off and Tommy Cass grabbed me and saying that, you know, yeah. well done son, you know, that's fantastic, you know, delighted for you and I think I nearly played then from then on. If you have to describe yourself in one word, what will it be? Describe myself in one word, uh, a people pleaser. I think that would... That's one word. Well, that's two words, but... <laughs> you are so good for me, man. <laughs> but you know me. <laughs> yeah, I know you. You say three words, I might that's say one. No, no, it's, it's one, it's one, it's one, because people please her, it's one. And it's, there's no dot. There's no dot here, or no to <laughs> People please her, the okay. whole lot. One word, I would say... Uh, a true gentleman and an honest pro.
Two words, Mo. As I say in America, awesome. He's a, a true professional. He's a joy. Unbelievable to be, maybe, the word I'd use. You know, you'd ask Raf to, to run through a brick wall, you'd do it, you'd do it ten times over for you. Extravagant. Love that one, guys. Sexy Italian. <laughs> is that what? <laughs> he is sexy and he's Italian, so. Brilliant tools. That is brilliant. <laughs> hey, he is brilliant, isn't he? What a guy. If I have to describe you in one word, it will be um, blessed. I think sometimes we need we need someone to uh, remind us how blessed we are, you know. Because when you are using your talent to lift up a life or to bring joy to someone, for me there is nothing better than that. That's why I've always, always been a huge fan of you. It's not just because your talent, it's the way you use your talent, you know. And to be fair, I'm not the only one thinking like that. That's for sure. Because I spoke with um, some people in Tobacco and uh, they are so proud of you, the, it's just amazing. Well, for the time of Tobacco, he was the first, one of the first players to come in from, from, from our town to go in and play at that level. So at the time it was really big. It was big, it was special for, the, for our club, it was special for the town. This was Rafi's first goal here. This is what he used to use uh, to kick the ball at. He used to use that as the goal then. But that was his first. This is where, we're, this is where he learned how to play football, out in the street. Yeah. Everybody in Tubbrookery is very fond of Raf because he does a lot for the town. He does a lot, he does a lot for the local soccer club, Real Tubber. Raf is always available to us. If we ever want him to come and do a session with the girls or boys, he makes himself available. He's a great role model for them. He um, teaches them the basics and most importantly to enjoy it. Oh, so many young players have seen him um, and they can they have something to aspire to all the time, you know. He inspires the young people of the town to know that there is things outside of Tupperkari. You know, there is careers and there is, you can do what you love. There is, it does happen. Tupperkari is a, it's a real community based town, you know. You have Ray Altober there and you have from under under sevens, under eights, all the way to, to 18s and senior. It's funny actually when, when you think about it, the, the very first team I played for was actually under nines at the time. Yeah. And uh, my now wife's father was the, the manager of, of the, the under nines team. Yeah. Um, and uh, we went and we, we won the Sligo Leitrim uh, under nines, under tens and under elevens that year. Um, I was actually under nine playing un under eleven because I could jump. <laughs> but uh, but uh, no, we, we, I can remember really well and all the people obviously that, that, that were involved in, in the club through the various ages, you know, but I think the, that one will stand out, especially the first the, the, the first game and, and the first time we won something and actually went to a penalty shootout. I went up, I took a penalty. I think I was one of the first or second to take a penalty. Uh, I scored it for a change. <laughs> <laughs> no um, comment. No comment. <laughs> but um, uh, I remember going on then and, and uh, I remember one of the lads taking the final penalty and, and, and scoring. And I remember running over to, to my dad coming in off, off the line and jumping on him. And, crying and it's, it's a memory that yeah. that'll really really stick with me and that that's kind of probably my first football memory as in my yeah. first real you know great feeling of of, of winning something and, and with, with a team and because I, oh, I can only remember having a massive teddy with dad dad had a massive teddy bear mm. and I, I can remember having it on the show on my shoulders yeah I was probably too excited yeah because I, I don't know for some strange reason I remember Celtic it was Trans Celtic 2-0 we bet it was Trans Celtic because Raph got a penalty and I got a goal as well yeah Jerry got the goal as well yeah I was lucky enough to to go through the the age groups and represent the county as well, Sligo Leitrim, as, yeah. as, as captain from 12s probably to, to 18s. We, we competed against the best teams in Sligo at that time, which isn't hard for a team in the country areas because it's mainly Gaelic footballers and the best players go to the Gaelic. But we were lucky that Raf's father was Italian and he preferred him to play the soccer. Like you said, I, I was blessed and yeah. 
you know, given the chance then from from Tommy Cassidy to to come in and and play my trade here at, at Sligo and and you know and, and the rest as you say is, is history as the cliches are, are, are going. In fairness, now he's an inspiration to Toby Curry himself. Like he's he's reminded even lads from South Sligo, like because the teams for Real Tober constant more younger lads joining us. You know, is uh, Raf Raf is a reminder to them that. Even no matter where you are, like if you're from the countryside or south side, like you can still make it. You can make it as a professional football if you put your put your mind to it and you know give it give it all. Like thank you, ref. And now we have under 17 players in at the Rovers, under 15 players in, under 19 players in. So they're all going through the ranks now. And uh, I think he was the one that kind of started it all off for us, you know. Even his, his nephew here is like he looks up to him. He, he wants to go everywhere he goes. He wants to do everything he does. You know, yeah. it's the same as all the young fellas in the town. They all look up to him. He's a role model to them all. Uh, Sometimes, because also as a role model, you know, <laughs> you cannot do everything you want or you wish to do because you also they also looked up at you. How you feel about that? Um, it's like you says. I'm blessed. Yeah. So, why why would I want to? I would always want to conduct myself in in the right manner, whether yeah. that be on the pitch, or whether that be away from here. Yeah. And I think I think that is 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 a big. I think it's a big part of probably why I've I've had a good career, uh, probably a long career. Yeah. yeah. I think Raf is just all about the football, like, and and whether it's playing for Real Tubber or playing for Sligo Rovers or when he had his spell at other clubs. It's all about the football. He's very professional, and you know, his, 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 everything he does is all about football. And so I don't think he'd feel any pressure with, with regards to younger players looking up to him or anything. I think he actually enjoys that. I'd look up to him growing up. Like he's 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 led me on the right on on the right on the right path. Like you know, I I'd look up to him. Tubber Curry is it's a, it's a small knit community. Everyone knows everyone, and you know, I'll I'll, I'll be in going to the to the shop obviously, and and in with my little boy and my wife and. The shopping might take an hour, but it'll it'll be a good hour where where I'm speaking to everyone, you know, about obviously maybe how the game went the weekend. And yeah. I think everybody in Sligo is really proud of him because he's kind of been the one that's been here all the years. For years I used to call him Ralph, uh, so but it's Raf, okay. So it took me a while to get onto that one, but Raf has been down so long, around so long. He actually played with me back in the day. Can't it's so long ago I can't remember whether he played with me or played against me. But uh, even back then, he was scoring goals anyway. The top ten appearances yeah. in the club history. Yeah. Uh, Ralph is the is the second from the top in yeah. terms of, and also in terms of goal scorers. Yeah. He is second from the top. Yeah. In the history of the club in 90 years. Yeah. Well respected in the League of Ireland and by his peers and down by the supporters, he was very loyal. An incredible amount of talent in him. He read the game well. He's very skillful. And, uh, and he can jump. He can jump. He's a good vertical. <laughs> like I can jump, you know. But this fella, for his height, is for a wee fella. He can really jump. For consistency, um, and most importantly, trophies. Trophies. A lot of goals. He scored some very important goals and very good goals in his career. He's been a great servant of the club. He went away and played with Bohemians for a while, and that sort of gave him another angle on life too. But yeah. but uh, he's been a phenomenal loyal player to the club. Yeah. Raf has brought um, sheer guts and determination every time you see him on the pitch. He's an endless warrior. He works hard for the club. For Ralph to be the second uh, highest player in terms of appearances yeah. and also as a goal scorer, because he's not a centre forward. Yeah. I mean, he was a, 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 a player who played on the wing most of the time. And well, a lot of the or time midfield. with the, Yeah, or midfield even. Yeah. And that's another thing, he was very adaptable. I think yeah. he played, I saw him playing full back a couple of yeah. times even. He's either 34, 35 now, and he's never slowed down, and he's still playing the best football he's ever played. Even this year, he was uh, fantastic. He's, you know, and yeah, he's, he's going to be very, very hard to replace. If you could describe Raph in one word, what would it be? In one word. Probably more than one word. Superhero. Class act. Um, Honest. Determined. Generous. Class. <laughs> A tornado. <laughs> A positive tornado. <laughs> Passion. 
He's magnificent. Um, I think I used to call him Little Valentino. Special from day one. Epic. Amazing. <laughs> Powerful. <laughs> yeah. Sligo Rovers, true and true. Gold score. Couple of work in the other, like he gives everything. Natural ability. Loyal, I suppose. Small and beautiful. It's competitive. Pleasure to watch. And very kind in the community. Always give his 100%, even now to this day. Very good character, good player, nice person. There's three words, four words, five words. <laughs> A pocket rocket, is that, that good enough? <laughs> committed. Totally committed to whatever he does. He, he's committed. I think commitment is, um, is what Raf is all about. Because when he's on that field, he's totally committed. And you know, Raf is an inspiration to all of us who wish to be committed in, a, in our own particular field of, of, of endeavour. Absolutely brilliant. Terrific player. Probably a winner. I watched the way he played when we won the league against Pats. The goal he scored, the way he scored it, the confidence. A lot of people panicked when they get into situations like that. And uh, you know, he, he was so calm so committed, so focused. And it's really hard when you're telling kids, you're coaching them to, to try to get them into a zone and stay focused. Raf has that. I want to be like him. Wow. <laughs>